tranquil land of lakes and mountains, Kashmir is now caught up in a violent struggle for independence. Most of Kashmir's 7 million people are Muslim, and since 1947, India has claimed this state as her own. In the last three years, 3,000 people have died as the independent struggle has degenerated into violent social unrest. And now the Indian army is here in force. 300,000 soldiers keep Kashmiris under strict military control. Any resistance is harshly dealt with, but still the Kashmiri youth continue to resist. Young nationalists attack an Indian military checkpoint and retreat into the night. The following morning, the army's response to the attack, a dawn raid followed by mass arrests of young men and the persecution of local people. Here in the town of Hanwara, a soldier was shot dead. The army's response, 300 shops and residents burnt to the ground. Such action is now almost normal, but more recent incidents have raised widespread concern about the Indian Army's continuing role in Kashmir. The Army agree that they did enter the village of Kunan Pushpura on the night of the 23rd of February. They say they questioned people and found some arms. But these people have given human rights investigators a more harrowing account of what took place. They say the men of the village were taken from their homes and tortured, and that at least 53 women left alone with their children were gang raped. Fifty-three women gave statements to human rights investigators. The youngest was 13, the oldest 80. This woman was pregnant at the time of the incident. She says that three days after she was raped and beaten, her child was born with a broken arm. In this building, the men of the village say they were interrogated and tortured. These scars are allegedly caused by electric wires. What happened that night has left many families in ruin. Husbands have left their wives, young unmarried girls have seen their prospects of marriage vanish as word of the incident spreads through the area. <laughs> While the women try to come to terms with their terrible ordeal, their men folk remain traumatized by the experience. The nearby town of Kapwara, two weeks after the incident, the magistrate, an Indian government official, wrote a report in which he said that the soldiers behaved like beasts. Mr. Yesen is used to dealing with complaints about the army. Here, another complaint about army harassment and arrest. I have submitted a report to the authorities to conduct an inquiry and take action. It will be good in the larger interests of the country 
if they stop anything, if committed illegally. Abdul Ghani is a former member of the Kashmiri state legislative, now disbanded. He believes India has lost Kashmir. By their acts and deeds, they are alienating the people of Kashmir day by day. They are actually alienating the hearts of the people. I would just uh, pinpoint in one word that they are losing the soul of Indian, I mean Kashmiri people day by day and by this act actually the whole Kashmir has been shaken, people of Kashmir. In a society such as this, rape is not normally talked about. Yet in Kunan Poshpura, there is bitterness and sadness. Lives have changed, relationships shattered. A massive military presence still binds Kashmir to India, but the strain is beginning to show. As tales of atrocities abound, Kashmiri nationalism grows. There are no friends of India in Kunin Pushpura. <laughs> 